Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to shoot a quick video just showing you what I've done here with a little cutting from a tomato. Uh, Bobby over on the MHP Gardener's channel, um, he showed us how to, that he does his uh, suckers and he transplanted the suckers. So it kind of gave me an idea when I was transplanting these large tomatoes on Saturday. Um, I ran into a situation where I had two plants per little pot and I really didn't want to trash them um, even though I did some of them. I actually took three of the uh, larger ones and to, to try, I tried to um, get them to root. So this is what I did. I just took uh, one of these little bottles here, uh, water bottles, filled it up with just regular tap water and stuck three tomato plants in it and not in one they each have their own little bottle so um, and you can see here what it looks like so what I did was this put it in there set it on my kitchen table and just wanted to see what would happen you know uh, it was either do that or just throw them in the trash throw them out so might as well try so Sure enough, today I went and checked. I checked every day to see if I had any roots popping off. Um, and today I started seeing some. So I wanted to show you what they look like. Uh, this is just regular tap water. It's not bottled water. Um, and you can see how the roots are coming off. Now this is not a sucker. This is an actual tomato plant that has been cut off at the bottom at the base um, which is you know essentially just like a sucker <laughs> but um, anyway the plants you know they haven't looked that rough um, they went through some significant trauma with me <laughs> cutting off the bottom uh, there is you know some leaves that kinda look a little bit bad but uh, the whole plant doesn't look that rough so this one over here We'll just watch and see what, what happens. Um, it's not like I don't have, you know, more tomato plants. But anyway, this is a homestead tomato. It is an heirloom variety. And uh, I've written on this cup, homestead from cutting. Um, and we'll see what happens. I'm going to do the same thing with this plant. I've got one more downstairs, and uh, it has some roots. I'm going to let that one keep going to see how many roots will come off. Um, I'm sure it'll be a lot, hopefully, and we'll just see what happens. So um, I'm going to go ahead and transplant this one. All I did was put some dirt, a little bit of dirt in the bottom, and set that uh, stem right in the middle, covered up with dirt, watered it in, and stuck it under my glow, uh, grow light. So uh, this is just regular shop lights. So we shall see. I'll keep you posted. Uh, thanks for watching.